Hey, what's going on, everybody? Meteorologist Joe Ansel here. Got you a Monday, October 23rd update on your forecast. Another beauty of a look uh, just before sunrise, looking by Loveland Ski. Clear sky overnight, and we'll soak in plenty of sun as well. As you're, if you're out and about and you love to take photos, feel free to snap one of what you see and email it in. Uh, email address right in the middle of your screen right there. You can email your photo to weather at mtn-tv.com. Might see it featured on a forecast in the future, and if you do the socials, you can find us on social media, MTN, uh, at MTN TV CEO. Slight chance for a few showers over the next couple of days, but very localized. Most of us will easily be dry for a while. It's not until the long term. This weekend, Saturday and Sunday, cold front drops through. Pot uh, potentially a chance of some mountain snow picking up for the weekend. Could continue into Monday, then dry for Halloween. Until then, still a warm and windier day. We'll have some southwest winds pick up, bring in some warmer air again. We're talking 80s for the Plains areas of eastern Colorado, 60s for us for Steamboat Vale, Aspen, Crested Butte, low to mid 70s in Fruta and Cortez. Denver at 80 today, that is 15 degrees above average, so still warming up. Mostly clear skies tonight, uh, lows drop down in the frosty 30s and 20s for many of us, 28 for that low in Crested Butte again tonight. Southwest winds will be a little bit gustier, between 20 up to 30 miles per hour for a lot of our valley, passes air, pass areas, our ski resorts. Uh, up in the high elevation mountain areas, wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour possible there. Here's that one chance of rain today. Yampa River Basin, maybe as far east as about Craig or so, northwest Colorado. A chance of a couple of sprinkles, light morning shower. And by lunchtime, boop, they're done. Then everybody's going to be dry this afternoon with a mostly clear sky. Tonight and tomorrow, here's our next slight chance. A little bit of moisture, maybe some moisture from the remnants of Norma briefly paying us a visit. Uh, the, the San Juans, areas of the Sawatch Mountains might see a coating to a couple inches of snow out of that for tomorrow. Denver dry the next five days, high of 80 today, 71 tomorrow, and then back to reality. Hello, cold front, high of 58 for the day on Friday. Up to the north, Rocky Mountain National Park, 65. Again, I'll repeat that, 65, 10 to 15 degrees above average for you today. I'll add a slight chance of showers Tuesday, wintry mix, and then a chance of rain and snow with a cold front on Thursday. Sunlight near 60 today, Aspen 65, Vail here at 65 as well. Very warm day, upper 50s to near 60 on Tuesday with a slight chance of showers Tuesday. I also had a slight chance with that front on Thursday. Around Summit County, highs 40s, 50s to near 60. 47 in Loveland Ski today, mostly clear skies. I'll add a slight chance of a mix on Tuesday. Nothing too ex to be much excited about. Another slight chance on Thursday. Southwest Colorado, mostly sunny and breezy today. We'll have a chance of showers, some light mountain snow tonight into Tuesday. Then a slight chance on Thursday. Thanks for tuning in. Now for mountain traffic.